Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to talk about ZK Rollups. It's just a very brief introduction to what they are and a couple of interesting projects in this space. And also, well, how they may impact your investment uh, decisions. So, first of all, what, what are ZK Rollups? Well, they're one of the layer two solutions for Ethereum. Layer two are solutions that allow Ethereum blockchain to be essentially more efficient or they allow more transactions to be put through Ethereum blockchain. If you're familiar already with Ethereum, let's say that you bought some tokens on Uniswap or you bought some NFTs, you probably already know that every transaction on Ethereum blockchain requires some gas fees. If you're not fully familiar with them, I'll put a link at the end of this video to another video where I explain this concept. The issue with Ethereum is that as the network gets more and more congested, transactions are getting slower and gas fees are increasing. Of course, this is not really great for promoting crypto and promoting Ethereum because as more and more people enter the space, the network will be more congested and of course, therefore gas fees will keep going higher. There is Ethereum 2.0 coming, but we don't know exactly when it will actually be deployed. And we also don't know whether that will solve all the problems or, or not. At the moment, whenever the network becomes busier, transaction fees are going up and the network overall is slowing down. The transaction times are increasing. So layer two solutions are essentially other blockchains, other solutions on top of Ethereum that allow to bundle multiple transactions and then put them through as a single transaction through, through Ethereum blockchain. You may already be familiar with some of them, like for example, Polygon. So what exactly is ZK Rollup? Well, ZK stands for zero knowledge proof. Essentially, this means that the whole transaction happens away from Ethereum blockchain. And something called Snark is used to take a snapshot of Ethereum blockchain before the transaction takes place. And then again, afterwards, and essentially only the changes are, are being transmitted. This means that there is far less data going through the Ethereum blockchain and majority of it happens off chain. But at the same time, the whole method is equally safe, is equally secure as conducting whole transaction on Ethereum blockchain. So you can see here Ethereum blockchain as being this main chain at the bottom. And then we can have multiple transactions within the single ZK rollup transaction, which is then being transmitted to a single block on Ethereum blockchain. This essentially means that a lot of traffic that would normally have to happen somewhere here is being offloaded. And as a result, it allows to process transaction, transactions quicker and at lower cost. This is incredibly important for pretty much everything on, on Ethereum blockchain. As more and more people, especially in enter spaces like crypto gaming or NFTs, well, you cannot have expensive transactions. You cannot, in a let's say, in crypto gaming, you cannot have tra each transaction costing like 50 or $100 or more, or having to wait potentially for hours when for the cheaper transaction to, to be picked up by the miners. It's just not feasible. Transactions have to be very fast and they have to be very cheap. And ZK Rollup allows both of those conditions to be met. There are, of course, other ways to, to offload some of that traffic from the main Ethereum blockchain. But the main issue with most of those solutions is that they take a lot of time to be processed. So yes, you can lower the cost, but you offloading, you moving some of that traffic away from Ethereum blockchain. And then when you want to move funds back to Ethereum, it can take around a week or more for that to happen, which of course for many, in many cases is just simply not feasible. So if you want to read up more about ZK rollups themselves and other layer two solutions, I will put a couple of links in the description to this video, like this art article on EthHub or this one on ethereum.org. But for now, the most important part here is to understand that essentially ZK rollups allow, in the simplest terms, more efficient 
cheaper, faster transactions on, on Ethereum blockchain. So how this impacts you as an investor? Well, there are a couple of projects that are, which will release tokens soon, and these tokens are likely to perform really well because of the benefits of the ZK roll. So if we look at something like Polygon, which, which is one of the layer two solutions, and we look at the price of it over the last year, well, it started somewhere around one or two cents. And at some point earlier this year, it was around $2.40. In fact, all time high was around $2.60. Then dipped quite significantly, but it stayed above $1 or in a one to $2 range for the majority of this year. And even after the recent crash, well, it's still at $1.80, it's still performing really well. So something like Polygon, with the current market cap of 12, 12 and a half billion dollars, even after the recent correction, can give us some sort of indication of what's possible in this space. So even if those new projects are not quite as successful, well, we can still expect a very nice, very solid move up from them. So the projects I'm currently interested in are ZK Sync, and you can find it at zksync.io, and Starkware, and you can find it at starkware.co. Both are expected to release tokens soon, so it will make sense to follow them on Twitter or join their Discord channels, make sure that you have notifications switched on, so you know as soon as there are any announcements and, and you can jump into it as soon as possible. Of course, if there is an initial massive pump when the token is released, it probably makes sense to wait a little bit because there will be a bit of a correction, but at the very least, keep an eye on it. But what you can also do is you can start interacting with those protocols. So for example, ZK Sync, if you click Open Wallet, it allows you to deposit some ETH in, in that wallet, in that layer two. You can just simply click here and connect with your MetaMask. It's a really simple transaction. You can just simply move ETH be between two wallets so it doesn't cost you much. But what then happens is, although there is no guarantee, there is an expectation that for people who have some ETH deposited in ZK Sync wallet, they may get an airdrop of their token once it's released. So if you have some spare ETH sitting on the side, well, it makes sense to, to deposit it there because you never know, you may essentially get some free money. I moved probably about half of my ETH in, in that wallet. To be honest, a lot of my ETH is in NFTs at the moment, but whatever I had left, I moved a fair chunk of it into, into ZK Sync because, well, hopefully that will, that will give me an airdrop at some point. And there's also one more project I wanted to mention in this video. Like I said earlier, there are some other layer two solutions, but one of the downsides is that it may take a week or more for the funds to be moved back to layer one. There's this project called Across, which actually allows you to move funds from Arbitrum to Ethereum mainnet almost immediately. And if they release a token, well, that token is also likely to do really well. Essentially, it's a competitive solution to what ZK rollups offer. I don't know whether it will be equally successful, less successful, it's hard to tell, but, but it's certainly a very interesting project. And as far as I'm aware, it's the only project of this type. So again, you may want to join their Twitter and Discord and see when they, they will release, when they will release a token and what can you do to, to invest in it. So just to sum up this video, ZK rollups are essentially a solution that allows Ethereum that allows faster and more efficient processing of transactions on Ethereum blockchain. A couple of projects which will likely release tokens soon are ZK Sync and Starkware. And it's, there is a chance that you may get an airdrop of tokens if you deposit some ETH in ZK Sync wallet. And also I mentioned a cross protocol because it's likely to be an interesting competitive project to, to the other ones mentioned in this video. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. Also, if you would like to find out more about ZK rollups and layer two solutions, please follow the links in the description. And otherwise, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.